Have you ever seen Pimax swords? They're a pretty weird controller. Basically what you'd expect if a Valve Index controller and a Vive wand had a baby. They're a bit more comfortable, but not the biggest upgrade considering they still have this giant trackpad. Well, what if I told you Valve tried something similar to this first? So, most people know that Valve was involved with the design of the original HTC Vive. If you didn't, now you do. It only makes sense that the next controllers they worked on would borrow aspects from Vive wands. If we take a little trip into the files of Steam VR, we can find a folder containing different iterations of the Index controllers. We don't care about the version 1.0s and the EV 2.0s. Those are practically identical to the Index controllers we know and love today. Upon opening the EV 1.3 folder, we find something curious. A Valve Index controller with a giant trackpad? Or to be more in line with the time period, Vive wands with finger tracking and two buttons? I've imported the models to Resonite to make viewing them easier. I wish I had a pair of these on hand. I've never even seen a set go on sale though, which makes sense. These controllers were only given out to developers of the time period. They're definitely on my top two VR things I'd kill someone to own though. The question becomes why though? By this point in time, the Oculus Touch controllers were out and were just considered better than Vive wands. Most people prefer joysticks for movement. The answer is probably as simple as just it's Valve. I'm convinced they have a fetish for trackpads. Just take a look at any controller they've ever made. Steam controllers, Steam decks, and even modern index controllers have trackpads on them. These controllers would have actually had some benefits, surprisingly, for the time period at least. If you ever typed with VR controllers, you know it's annoying as hell. Well, what if I told you there used to be a better way using the trackpads on Vive wands? It worked the exact same way as typing on a Steam controller or deck, and it's honestly the best way I've ever typed on a controller. For some reason though, this got removed from Steam VR. They also had an extra button over Vive Wands, giving you quite a few more input options. Admittedly, it kinda makes me sad not many companies are willing to try things like this out anymore. Most VR controllers nowadays share the exact same face with the only difference being the tracking method. If anything, it makes me have more respect for companies like Shiftall, DiverX, and ET who are trying something new. Not Pimax though. Why the hell would you make a controller with the same inputs as a Vive wand? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little piece of VR history as much as I did. I'd like to take a second to thank my Kofi supporters. Thank you to my tier 2 supporters and thank you to my tier 3 supporter Azti. People like you make these videos possible.